Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Another random video, but this is a good one. Right. Mover. Now, my first cruise that I did, if you watched the last video with the trolls, then explain that I went on a Norwegian cruise. The same cruise, actually, funny enough, was there was a the centre of the ship, we went on independent to the seas around the fjords with um, Royal Caribbean plug, free free cruise please. And they had a big stall in the centre and they got, they got all of these globes in the centre and they look just like globes but they were a lot different because they are self-propelled globes which will become apparent hopefully in a bit. They come in two different packages, I've got one in here and there's one of them in a, um, it's a blue box, it was the original one. Let's get into this one. I don't think this... I've repackaged this one because we have these on display. I'm not sure if it's, this is actually the one from this box, but bear with me, the other box are behind me anyway, so... Right, they come with a stand. Now, I'm actually not only doing this, I've got no, three pieces of plastic for the stand. Right, I'm doing this because I watched um, Techmon, and he did a second Mover Globe video. There's a new style out which aren't, you'll see in a minute, they aren't a ball globe type but they're more of a square and I kind of thought that these were just a square, these put inside a square box and they're not. They're more of a, um, let's get rid of that, they're more of a, see, see right, this is the globe. I can't turn this around because these globes are absolutely... I love these. There's a ball inside. The globe is inside. There's a fluid inside it. There's all the mechanisms underneath where the actual map of the world is. Solar panel. This will turn under a, a daylight, definitely. Um, a decent um, LED light does work on these, but they have to be pretty bright for it. So, But it's all suspended in like an oil. And when the light gets through onto the solar panel, this will revolve around at, at its, own, its own steady pace. But if you can see there, I mean, what gets me is I am holding on to the outer shell, which is all you can ha ha hold on to. But the inner part stays on like a gyroscope as it is. I mean, it looks amazing, sort of a, a magic trick. I mean, yeah, you can spin them around, but it's not entirely healthy for them. The ones we saw on the cruise were, these are small type, I think they're four and a half inch, they were up to nine inch, they're absolutely ridiculously good. If you're gonna get one of these, they're expensive. Even these, the smaller ones are very expensive. But if you're gonna get a big one, yeah, probably get one. But I just absolutely love these. Now I'm gonna have to take the camera off the, the stand here. So, um, yeah, the world just keeps turning and turning. I think that's going the, the wrong way. It'll stop, but it will get... There she goes. I mean, I wanted the realistic ones. Oh, it is doing under my lights. That's good. I was expecting using a different light. Let's try a different light on there. There we go. That's better. Now it's going the right way. It does need a good light source on these. So it'll just spin and spin and spin. The detail work on these are amazing. I wanted the realistic ones. You'll see in a minute when the other ones come out. See, I am not doing anything to this. Even coming back, it's on its own. Only thing that's doing anything is this light, light box. And they just spin like, they're just absolutely amazing. I mean, it's a shame Europe's there underneath the cloud, but then again, why wouldn't we be? Africa, you got Southern America, Northern America, coming up on Russia. The detail work on this is absolutely stunning. It's got them over underneath it, which you can see, which you can't really see properly, unless you turn this upside down. There we are. But that will spin around with the um, globe as well. So that's the first. Hopefully, this will turn around. Right. Bought that one to start with, I absolutely love that one. 
second one's coming into shot now, which is the moon. A little bluer than I'd think the moon, but again, quite happily spinning around. My light's gone proper. I need to try and get this lit up properly so I can. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to hold that up, to be honest, watching them both spin around. And same again, the moon just spins around. On its own. Quite casually. I'm going to stand that up there. Bear with me, I should have done this one in. Before I started. Stand up, there you go. Right. And these will just spin. And spin. And spin. Now going out in the solar system, we have Mars. Move them back a second. We have the Mars one. Again, these are these look like actual proper shots. You can see a line straight across down there. That is where the two halves of the dome has been put together. So we just put them sort of out of the way, so you can't really tell it. And the moon isn't spinning too well because it's a little bit further away from the light source. We had these in the um, front window. Every time the sun had, uh, had come through, it would be just spinning away happily. Except Mars doesn't seem to be. Go on, off you go. Go on, fella. They're just an amazing talking piece. Just sit there. I can stare at these for hours. And the fourth and final one I've got is the mighty Jupiter. I mean, I do love my astronomy. But to have these here, just a straight, the detail work on these is, is just, a, they're obviously pictures, really high definition pictures squashed into these. But, just casually spinning around. Amazing, I could watch this for hours. I'd better do that, just record this for an hour and just play on loop. Go around pretty well this light. There's a big red spot. A little light source in the middle of them. They just, just spin, just just casually. They're the right way as well, they're even orientated the right way around. There's a problem with one of these, I think. Not, not these ones I've got here, I think. Isn't it Neptune they were trying to do? But they can't because it doesn't spin on its axis like this. I mean, we don't spin straight. We're at a, a slight slant for spinning, but you can get away with it. With the, um, yeah, with the, the Earth being like that. We, we love looking at maps and stuff like that. But isn't Neptune spins on its side? Or Uranus spins on its side? One of those two. So it's not exactly can be can be done properly. Yeah, these are absolutely amazing. They're all... Decent, really good photos. Other craters on Mars, craters on the Moon. I think isn't that what we usually see with the Moon? Sort of there. It's always pointing. One side of the Moon always points towards us. But yeah, I absolutely love these. These are brilliant, these morbid lobes. Like I said, Techmon was doing one with... The, the newer versions are in a square. The, but these, um, the plastic outers, they're removed and the inner workings were put inside a square uh, box, clear square box, so the um, globe inside it would spin because all the, the me mechanics inside it. But there'd be a magnet on the top of the box. So you kept it in one place and the magnet would keep the globe in the centre of this box filled with oil. And it's just absolutely amazing looking at it. I do prefer these, but I'd love to do a review on, on the newer ones. You know, they're just, just spinning away, no batteries, no nothing. Once the light goes, these will just casually slow down to a stop. See, Mars has stopped. The others are, oh, Mars are going backwards. Yeah, I think they're getting reflections in different directions. See? Why are they going backwards? <laughs> it's like it's kind of finding its own centre to stop at. 
Yeah, there's absolutely. I do love these, they're amazing globes. Put that back on this stand. Not very professional, but hey ho. But, yeah. They've been photorealistic. They have so many different types. They have comical ones, like a baseball. Other types of maps you've got. Your uh, political map, your map with the earth without any clouds on. This is, I prefer this one because it was more photorealistic with the clouds on. Mars with a cap, with a polar cap on there. I'm not sure if there's a southern cap. No. Well, there's a tiny southern cap on there anyway. Jupiter, I need to do this off camera. Just keeps doing with the bands coming down. But these are absolutely amazing things to look at. And watch them casually spin around. Hope you like that. I absolutely adore these. Let's get used to corner so I can get this thing on here. Thank you very much for watching. And please like, subscribe me. Follow me on usual stuff. Got some links below anyway in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.